in a dirty business class computer come back to life simply by just a good old fashioned cleaning? It definitely can't hurt, but even the world's finest soap may not be the answer. Surely, stick on chrome has to be exactly what we need to resurrect this old HP compact. Nah, it's none of that. It's taking an angle grinder to the case to expose the older yet neat technology most people would just rather deem junk. But not on this channel. Hey guys, welcome. A Core 2 Quad Q6600 has a stock speed of 2.4 GHz with a 1066 front side bus. But if I put some common electrical tape on two of the pins, we can trick the FSB to go to 1333 giving us just about 3.0 GHz times 4. That's a huge upgrade from the original stock dual core that came with this. With more voltage applied to the processor, it's going to run faster, but it's going to run hotter. So with more voltage comes more heat. So I'm removing the air intake metal shroud in hopes I gain some advantage on that matter. Acrylic or plexiglass is fairly easy to work with, but if you're going to hold it down with screws, make sure the hole is larger than the screw threads because the pressure of self-tapping will cause the plastic to crack. You can also form your window with a Dremel using a cutting wheel and then a sanding cylinder. Attaching the plexiglass, I will be using self-piercing metal screws, but I'm going to be drilling holes anyway for a quicker installation. I don't make measurements or keep a parts list because I just mock it up in my head and on the fly. And I use hardware that I have laying around the house. If your screws are too long for this, you'll have to take it and uh, grind them down because the power supply is very flush to the bottom of the panel. Ah, oh, the DDR2, I really wanted to cover that up with something, so I formed this piece of plexiglass with a heat gun 
and I just scuffed it up and I painted it and then I found a sticker from another project uh, and I slapped it on and it looks rather cool the skull guy I call him we are starting to get somewhere now so we took a dirty old HP put in a core 2 quad put in a bezel tape mod put in better RAM PC2 uh, 6400 runs at 800 megahertz um, we windowed it out um, geez the only thing left is to put in some LEDs Yep, that's coming up. LED lights and the car chrome, the stick on, uh, was only 50 cents each. I bought them at the discount store. The packaging was so old it crumbled, but the contents inside worked great. This is part of the video all you skippers came to. Well, let's light this candle. Let's see if this thing can perform with a GT730. Thank you. 